So for today, we're going to be looking at the new ornaments that the hunters got for Season of the Witch. Warlocks and Titans, don't worry, you guys will get your own video soon. But for this one, we're going to be looking at the ornaments that the hunters got. We're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, and an example set as well, because that's how we usually do it. And yeah, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the first one, which is the European Scout Visor. This is an ornament for the Sir Tarachnid's facade. I actually like this ornament a lot more than the base look of the facade because the facade has a little uh, has a lot of things that I don't like about it. First and foremost, the visor part, specifically like the the goggles and whatnot, look way too too front heavy. So it looks like uh, the person who wear, like wears it will have like a hunchback because they're it's that heavy. Uh, there's a glow on it that I'm not the biggest fan of. And I, yeah, that's pretty much it actually. Like everything else like looks cool. Like I like the idea of the visor. It's just that uh, it's too, it's too front heavy for me. <clears throat> but for the Yoro Pen Sky Visor, I think it looks really cool. I should be showing you how it looks with the shaders right now. Uh, my favorite shader on it would probably have to be Echo Ranger just because Echo Ranger is probably the best, best example of how cool it looks because on, in the front, it's just going to be the pure like main color. And then on the sides, that's where the secondary colors will be. And I think that's really cool because uh, certain shaders are just going to look really, really cool with it. I think Cryptic, Cryptic Insignia also looks really cool with it. But yeah, let me know which one is your favorite shader. As for the example set, I ended up going for an Arctic soldier type thing. For the helmet, obviously, European Scout Visor is what we're wearing. But for the arm Siege Breaker groups, specifically because I like the little screen the screen on the forearm I really really like and overall I like how it combines with the Bray Tech combat vest I think it combines really well considering there's other arms that don't look as good then for the boots the Christian Creed strides is what we're using because that's like the best one to do if you're don't if you're going for like an arctic look because it literally has a pick on one of the the left side no the right side specifically and then for the cloak raising meridian constellation because of the fur so overall i like this look Ar shader is the arctic dreamscape this is just such a good shader if you want to go for an arctic soldier look because it literally is in the name and the other thing is i made sure not to have any orange pieces in here because if you guys don't know the off color is orange and i'm just not the biggest fan of it so i really like how this came out granted this is more arctic soldier than tactical soldier because tactical there's there would be a lot more stuff on him like blades ammo packs like a lot of that stuff but there's enough of it where in my head it's like it still looks tactical but it's more like themed around snow and for the last ornament it's gonna be for caliban's hand specifically the nucle nucleosynthetic sheath i think this ornament looks amazing i love it it's super cool the only thing that i can say is a negative is the fact that the glow on the arm specifically the wrist that like orange glow does not change color so you're gonna have to work around that i know some people might find that annoying i personally don't because i do know a few glows that are that orange and specifically the examples that we're using does incorporate that glow so that's why i'm like eh, it's fine i can work around it i'd rather not work around it though i'd rather them just not do that but it's one of those things like you better you better know your shader as well so that way you guys are aware of that as for shadering i think the shadering is fine i i've seen better for sure but i like what i'm looking at so far uh specifically for like abyssinian gold i like the fact that the under armor is black the plate armor is brown but i mean that's to be expected overall it's to be expected i'll just show you all the shaders right now As for the example set, I love what I did. So for this one, Hardened Basilisk Mask is where we're using the Veritas Vest for the chest piece, the Thunderhead Strides for the boots, and then the Psionic Stalker Cloak for the cloak. So let me explain a few things. First and foremost, I'm using the Hardened Basilisk Mask because the Gambit Celadon, which is the shader we're using, or Kaladin, I don't know. Either way, the shader we're using has an orange glow. So that's why I'm using this shader specifically. And then the Veritas Vest and the Thunderhead Strides, I think these two meld so well together because there's a lot of straps for the Thunderhead and then there's a lot of straps for the Veritas as well. There's a lot of like ammo packs and stuff like that. That's why I love combining these two together. 
and then the psionic stalker i always do for a tactical look just because it's really cool for that one however we are using a different shader we're using iron to steel because a iron to steel turns it all green and i yeah that's really it uh it turns off the glow and turns it green and that's the best uh i can find for that so i actually really like this set a lot that being said i would probably switch out the boots for something else not that i don't like it it's just not the same with the arms if i'm being quite honest like now that i'm really looking at it i'm like they look cool with the chest piece but i would probably switch out the boots for something else a little bit more bulky or a little bit more armor either way i still like it i still think it looks cool but i would probably just switch out the boots for something else so hunters let me know what you guys think i actually really like a lot of these uh a lot of these ornaments that we got for this season not only for the hunters but for the titans and warlocks as well and i'm really excited to show you what i did for the other classes as well which don't worry again i have those aren't those videos already done i just have to do the audio for them and then i can just edit them so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later